welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. We're going to talk about the ego. And what's the ego? The ego is, well, we haven't seen him in a while. This is Hacker T. Hacker T represents the ego for all of us. Now, the reason why I chose Hacker T is because he's cute. But we think of the ego as something as powerful that sometimes we, not that powerful, and yeah, and sometimes that we battle. We don't want to battle the ego. Why? Because then we fuel it. We become like arguing with it, right? Don't argue with me. And so what happens when you argue with the ego? You just fuel whatever thoughts are coming in from the ego. Well, the ego's really not separate from you. It is a part of you. It is an energy field that is attached to you, that is part of you that was created by everyone, right? Yeah, everything out there, everything. Uh huh. And so what is everything? We're a part of a collective consciousness and we share that. It's like one brain thinking for everybody of which everything has its different purposes and you are part of that expression. Well, we share that brain, we share that information, and we contribute to it. So we are individual expressions of one energy. Well, within that became a very, let's say, just say, dense energy field, of which I call the third energy field, and that is the ego. Now I have, I actually have a book coming out called The Three Human Energy Fields, which explain this, and that is that the third energy field is the most dense, human energy field. I'm just simplifying things as usual for you so you can understand that this energy right here has been created over centuries on this planet to believe that the material world is all that there is and that we must fight for it and that we have to protect ourselves and it actually reinforces fear. But I want you to remember something about the ego. Yeah, I'm going to talk about you. It's going to be very personal. Okay, so the ego is just trying to protect you. That's it. The ego is what we've been told is who and what we are, and that the outside world is all there is, and that we must fight for it, protect ourselves, get more stuff, and that other people are threats to us, other egos. And so the truth is, is that all power lies within and that the ego is just a protection system to the human species of which we have become a part of, unfortunately, for throughout the years. And so when you understand that it's just really your friend trying to protect you, you stop battling it and you understand that it has just been trained very well, by the way, I might add, and so we've trained it to say, that's a threat, right? It's our little watchdoggy. That's a threat. That person's a threat. They're going to get that job, and it's mine, right? And then, oh, the abundance, you know, oh, abundance. I have to have abundance, right? Oh, yeah. No, abundance is for everybody. There's no lack of anything in this universe, and we could feed everybody. We could all have crazy abundance and be happy and love each other and giving and we could live in that world right now if we wanted to but so many of us are listening to the ego I, I just don't believe that anymore yeah sorry we listen to this threatening I'm going to protect you cute little guy and we act on it so when you think of your ego as something just trying to protect you, just say thank you. Now that's a much better feeling. So take something that is disturbing to you. And then let's just say, um, okay, the financial. The financial is the big one. Um, you know, oh my gosh, I, I broke. I'm never going to be, you know, you're never going to be, have any money. And, you know, and then it goes on and on. And oh my God, this is going to get worse and all this. And, and so what is it? So instead of saying, okay, that's not true. I don't want to believe that. That's not true. I know it's not true. I know I can change everything, but you're still not feeling real good when you say that most of the time, right? What if you said, thank you. Thank you for, yeah. <laughs> I know it's a shocker. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for looking out after my best interests, and that's all it's doing. It doesn't want you to suffer, 
right? It doesn't want you to suffer. That's all it is. Anything negative, I know you're claiming it because this ego wants to protect you. Anything that's separation or negative is the ego. All of it. All of it. All right? So when one negative thought comes in, say, oh, thank you for protecting me. Everything's a learning experience. And now when it raises its head, it's going to take a back seat and maybe go to sleep. Right? Goes to sleep and then every once in a while it tells you something and then you're saying, no, thank you. I, oh, you're trying to protect me again from the material world. Well, guess what? I'm more powerful than the material world. I'm not the material world. I'm beyond that. So I thank you for that potential threat that you believe exists, but I don't believe it exists anymore. I hope this makes sense. When you think it, you, you take the, this, the top seat. In other words, when you say, I don't believe that, and, and so, you know, and you're fighting it, what happens is you're actually creating a conflict. You're believing that it has some kind of power over you, and you're thinking, no, I'm going to overcome this as, as if it's some separate entity. It's not. It's your energy field trying to protect you. It's cute. It loves you. It thinks that there's nothing but the material world. Say, thank you, and then we're friends, and... I'm just not going to function that way anymore, but I know what it's trying to do. If you understand it's just trying to protect you in a third density world, then you can move past it. But you don't have to believe it anymore. Just know what it is, and all of a sudden it just dissipates. It becomes so non-threatening, and it becomes cute. Isn't he cute? <laughs> all right, so we're going to say goodbye. Hacker T and I are going to say goodbye. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Oh, you got to get those together. Let's get those together. Namaste.